Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create cartoon animations using individual static objects. In this project, I have eight states representing each frame of my tune animation. And each one of these states is under a null. Now, how I made each one of these doesn't make a difference. Uh, this one is here, uh, this one is here. I use the primitives and volumes to do this one. Number five is just a mesh, uh, nothing more. But in any case, uh, put them each under a null. Now, let's go and add a cloner. I'm going to go down here and set the count to one, one, and one, just to create a single cloner. And make sure that the clones are generated in sort mode. Now let's take all these and put them as children of the cloner, and you will see this one clone being exposed, which is the first one. Now how do I create this animation? Well, select the cloner and add a plane effector, and make sure in the parameters you turn off all the position, scale, rotation, whatever it has, and go down here and you activate the modify clone and set it to 100%. Now, if you go to the effector and change the strength, you will see that depending on the strength, we choose a different clone. Now, I'm going to save this as an alembic sequence. So I need to make sure that if I want to start from an empty frame and end on an empty frame, there's at least a single point in that frame. Otherwise, that frame will not be exported. So I'm just going to go and get a plane, simplify it one and one, and set the width and height to zero and zero. So this is just a single point. I'm going to put it first and call it zero. That's frame zero. Make a copy of it and make it a child of the cloner. Let's name it nine. The naming doesn't matter. So now we start with an empty frame and we end with an empty frame. And that point is there just to make sure that the Alembic is going to export. So let's go and animate this. Go to the strength over here at frame zero, set the strength to zero. Now we have a total of 10 frames. Zero, two, not 10, but nine. So set this to nine. Go to frame nine and set this to 100% and keyframe that. You also need to go to your animation down here and go to the F curves. Drag the plane effector over here and make sure that all your keys are linear so everything happens in the correct timing. So now I have the evolution of my droplet starting from an empty frame and going all the way to another empty frame. All you have to do now is select the cloner and put this under a connect object. Make the connect object not weld the points. Go to the connect, right click and say bake as alembic and delete or bake as alembic and then you can use that alembic which if you play the alembic you will see your tune animation this way you can create any animation out of individual frames if you enjoy our quick tips please like comment subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip